Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here from Creative Frontiers and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a new feature inside of InDesign CC 2020 which is Place SVGs. Now if you're not familiar with SVGs, it stands for Scalable Vector Graphic. SVGs will typically be uh, artwork similar to Adobe Illustrator. So they'll be uh, made of anchor points and segments. There could be logos, symbols, uh, infographics as well. And um, they can be used in print and they can be used in on-screen presentations as well. So they are extremely versatile. So in terms of SVGs, where do we get them from? Here I have a couple of websites that you might find um, helpful for this. MapSVG.com, they have WordPress plugins, but they do have a section at the top under Maps where you can browse through a library of different maps. Uh, in here then there is uh, other maps and amongst them is, for example, World. So if I left click on World, it will then take me to that page. Notice here you can download these um, calls them high resolution, but they are obviously vector graphics, so they can be scaled to any size that you need. You won't need to credit um, Map SVG to use this image, and you can use it in your commercial work as well, as it tells us on the web page in here. So you can hover over and you can left click and you can download that graphic. Notice here it's dropped into my downloads folder. It's uh, world.svg. So that's one map I could use in my project in InDesign. The other one is here, and this is a flat icon. Uh, this will, again, it's very typical of the kinds of artwork you will find in SVG format, icons, symbols. And if, again, I do a search in here for, say, map, press return, in the search results in here, you can download uh, artwork in here for free as well as one of the options available. Uh, just note that the um, any of the symbols in here that have a golden crown underneath them will be paid stock, um, but they do have a, a really good library of content on flat icon. So if I was to, say, choose this one here and left click, if you're not a paid subscriber to the website, you will see ads um, that pop up on screen quite possibly. But here with this one, it takes me to the page for this graphic. I can choose a basic version here by left clicking on the symbol, which gives me something with no strokes in there. I could click on another option there, which does put the strokes on, but I think I might go back to the previous version in there. So I'm quite happy with that appearance. And then options in terms of downloading, well, you've got PNG and you do have other file formats in there. But again, we are going to use SVG. So if I left click on SVG, I'm going to choose to download for free. And in this case, you must, if you're going to use this in any kind of project, you must credit the original author. Um, so if I click on free download, again, it downloads and I see my downloads folder, it's there. So if I click on, on highlight those two files and drag them into my project folder that I'm using, I can now utilize them in InDesign. Uh, in this document here, this is um, a project intended for iPad for an interactive presentation. So if I go to the file menu and then go to place, I can head to uh, the desktop. I have a project folder here and then I have all my links in a folder as well. Amongst them, of course, are my newly added SVGs. So again, you'll notice in here that uh, Walco logo.ai is an adobe illustrator file but they are very much similar to svg files can be used in print and on screen so notice that i've got these show input options turned on here if i click on open then there are no options for an svg so if i just press the w key to get my grids and guides on screen i'll start at the top up here click and hold down the mouse drag across to get this to about the right kind of height right about here and there we go. So it comes in with no background. Um, the artwork in this case from uh, Map SVG is black. Um, you could open that in Illustrator and edit it, and then I can click away. You can also then go back to File, and then choose Place, and then pick the file that I got from uh, Flat Icon. Again, click on Open. If I uh, if I left click just to the side of the page in here, um, it will come in at whatever size it was made at. So this is pretty big. But if I go to my Control Panel up at the top and turn on Auto Fit. Make sure my width and height is linked inside of here. And then for the height, if I type in something like 30 pixels, press return, and then um, I can hover over and I can use that symbol on my map and I can utilize both pieces of um, artwork in there. So SVG is a really great way to be able to work. If you want to edit them, then you can now click on that SVG, right click on it and um, it wasn't usually possible uh, inside of uh, the Adobe Creative Cloud apps to choose Edit Original, but when you do now, uh, I've certainly found that it goes straight to Adobe Illustrator to edit that graphic, which is helpful. Of course, you could always choose Edit With and pick another piece of software if you wish to, but um, Illustrator will be the, the one of choice for me inside of there. So 
Thanks for watching, folks. As always, if you haven't, you can always subscribe. And I post a video every week on this channel, uh, Fridays at half past 12. And um, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, farewell.